March 16, the character heaven approves. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. 1 Timothy 4.12 Jesus, the majesty of heaven, has left an example for the youth. He toiled in the workshop at Nazareth for his daily bread. He was subject to his parents and sought not to control his own time or to follow his own will. By a life of easy indulgence, a youth can never attain to real excellence as a man or as a Christian. God does not promise us ease, honor, or wealth in his service, but he assures us that all needed blessings will be ours with persecutions and in the world to come life everlasting. Nothing less than entire consecration to his service will Christ accept. This is the lesson which every one of us must learn. We have marked illustrations of the sustaining power of firm religious principle. The gapping lion's den could not keep Daniel from his daily prayers, nor could the fiery furnace induce Shadrach and his companions to fall down before the idol which Nebuchadnezzar set up. Young men who have firm principles will eschew pleasure, defy pain, and brave even the lion's den and the heated fiery furnace, rather than be found untrue to God. Mark the character of Joseph. Virtue was severely tested, but its triumph was complete. At every point the noble youth endured the test. The same lofty, unbending principle appeared at every trial. The Lord was with him, and his word was law. Those who study the Bible, counsel with God, and rely upon Christ will be enabled to act wisely at all times and under all circumstances. Good principles will be illustrated in actual life. Only let the truth for this time be cordially received and become the basis of character, and it will produce steadfastness of purpose, which the allurements of pleasure, the fickleness of custom, the contempt of the world loving and the heart's own clamors for self-indulgence are powerless to influence. Conscience must first be enlightened, the will must be brought into subjection, the love of truth and righteousness must reign in the soul and a character will appear which heaven will, can approve.